Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you are having a very great day. In this video, I speak about differences between feedback and uh, feed forward compression in mushroom. I will also give you a great tip that nobody will tell you about. So before we start, please uh, remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmustering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. It helps me to bring more videos. And now, let's get started. <laughs> Compressors uh, tend to come in two behavioral uh, types, feed forward and feedback. I will speak about the differences on the basis of a VCA compressor. So you can uh, apply this uh, same logic to other types of compressors such as FET, OPTO, DIET BRIDGE, uh, etc. Here on the screen you can see a couple of uh, digital mushroom compressors with uh, feed uh, forward and feedback modes. At the circuit level, VCA compressor consists of a uh, level sensor, control voltage processor and a voltage uh, controlled amplifier VCA. Feed forward and feedback uh, describes where the detector and control uh, voltage processor would be located within the compression circuit. Please have a look at this uh, block diagram. As you can see, in a feed forward compressor, the control circuit receives the audio signal before the signal goes through the amplification system. Most uh, modern-day compressors behave uh, this way, offering detailed control over the attack and uh, release uh, functions. Feedforward uh, compressors are better suited to control audio uh, than add color. In a feedback compressor, the control circuit receives the audio signal after it has uh, passed through the amplifier stage. Most vintage compressors behave this way because the detector reacts to the signal after it is compressed and the result is a smoother and more colored response. Since uh, feed forward is more transparent, more solid and more uh, discreet, it affects uh, bass less. In its turn, feedback is more bass and sub. Feedback is a little bit more dirty and uh, colorful, so to say, and it gives a glue effect. So, here's my tip for today. Feedback compression is good when you master a track with uh, too much uh, sub and bass. You, of course, can either equalize sub and bass at, or you can use feedback compression to get to uh, glue the track. It is quite a nice uh, way to deal with this too much bass and uh, sub issue. Now let's have a listen how it sounds in practice. I will uh, use a Roger Foot before SME and I like the CA mastering compressor. First I will play the trick using P4 SME in RMS mode with uh, feedback compression and the uh, sidechain high pass filter set to 160 hertz with 1 5 to 1 ratio and the uh, threshold adjusted to give approximately 2 dB of uh, compression. After that I will play the trick using same settings with feed forward compression and you will hear the difference by yourself. Have fun! <laughs> 